Well, one Eastern Carolina city is ready to spend over $100,000 to remove an old motel building abandoned for years. Gigi Barnett is live in Kinston, where local businesses are relieved to hear that the city plans to knock down the Super 8 motel on Highway 70. Gigi. Courtney, the Super 8 motel here in Kinston has been known to the community as an eyesore since it was condemned back in 2020. Busted doors and shattered windows are just some of the reasons the city of Kinston says the Super 8 motel on Highway 70 is a public nuisance. The hotel was hit hard by Hurricane Matthew back in 2016, but the city says there were never any plans to fix the damage that was done. The hotel has been abandoned since, and businesses in the area say it's become a breeding ground for not only rats, but crime too. We've had crime uh, elements there. It's an old hotel, doors have been busted in, windows are busted in. We had a, uh, an attempt to break in in April and the getaway car was stashed over there. The Kinston City Council is set to discuss a bid to demolish the building on Tuesday. Staff at some of the other hotels near the Super 8 are happy to hear the building will be taken down, as they've heard from customers that just being near such a deserted place can be nerve wracking. It just scares people when they walk past there. It just I, I walk past there and it scares me too. The demolition will cost more than $128,000, but Lenore County Management has offered to cover half the cost. Russell Rhodes, who owns New Sports Shop across the street, says the city's decision will be a great asset for the community as a whole. It's an area in a relatively vibrant business community that needs to be addressed, and I'm glad the city's doing that. There are no plans to replace the building as of yet, but the city did say that by removing the building, it'll open up a nice space to see the Noose River as well as for more future development here in Kinston. Live in Kinston, Gigi Barnett, WITN News. All right, thanks, Gigi. And the city council will be presented with information regarding the demolition on Monday, and they will vote to award the bid on Tuesday.